Good morning. Thank you for attending. Thank you, Sardar, for organizing. Thank you to my IBM colleagues for uh, organizing as well. And uh, I hope uh, th that you find the information that we all present today to be useful and relevant to your, to your business. So again, thank you uh, for coming and for the invitation for my second visit uh, to Istanbul. So I have many things to cover today, and I recognize that with the translation, I need to go slow. So I will skip some slides in the interest of time. Uh, this presentation is available online. I will um, give you the, the uh, website address for that that we can use as follow-up. Um, so I'm not going to cover everything. If all goes well, I will do a live demonstration of Lotus Live Symphony at one point, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, so the um, agenda for this presentation, I'm going to cover four uh, areas about the messaging and collaboration business. Uh, first, start with a market update on how um, Notes and Domino are doing in the, in the marketplace. Look at what we accomplished in this area, in this market segment in, in 2010. Uh, some plans and things we've already done in 2011. Uh, and then a vision uh, for the future. Okay. So to start, um, give you an update on how Notes and Domino are doing in the market. Uh, according to IDC, uh, IBM has 35% of the uh, messaging collaboration market on a global basis. And that number has remained steady, uh, even as the market has evolved rapidly over the last few years. IDC also says that IBM has the fastest growing mobile email platform in Lotus Notes Traveler, uh, faster than, than BlackBerry, faster than uh, ActiveSync. And at this point, the vast majority of Notes and Domino customers are running the 8.5 releases uh, of software as well. I'm going to talk to you today about Lotus Live, our cloud solutions for messaging, collaboration, and social. And uh, we'll do some demonstrations of that as well. Very strong reception in the market in its first uh, year. Uh, Lotus Symphony, uh, our desktop productivity tools, are doing very well. We now count about 50 million downloads of Symphony since the product's inception. Um, it's a free product, but even uh, the, the most common sites on the internet where you get software that's not legal have copies of Symphony out there, and so we're, we're okay with that. That's a, a good thing uh, to, uh, to expand the market. Uh, and then last, Lotus Protector is a, a product family you may not be familiar with. Um, Protector is a, a line of uh, mail security products. We have a mail security and a mail encryption solution uh, that have been introduced over the last couple of years. And it seems to me that since Lotusphere in January in, uh, the, in the US, we've had a, a significant surge in interest in uh, Lotus Protector. So we'll talk about all of those. Uh, where Notes and Domino are winning, some examples of customers that we announced during 2010 as successful Notes and Domino customers. They include Singapore Airlines, the US uh, Parks and Recreation Department, the Department of the Interior, um, POSCO and Wilmar in the Southeast Asian market, uh, EuroCities, and then General Motors Commercial Holdings. So um, a wide variety of adoption of Notes and Domino during 2010 across all of our products, and we are continuing this momentum into 2011. All right, things that were accomplished during 2010. Um, we shipped one release of Notes and Domino during the calendar year, the 8.5.2 release, and that was shipped in English in August. Um, this is an incremental release. Since 2007, our development organization has used what is known as an agile development methodology. And this approach means that we do sh smaller, more frequent updates to Notes and Domino that are quick to respond to market requirements and your feedback. So since 2007, we have shipped new features in 8.0.1, 8.0.2, 8.5, 8.5.1, and now 8.5.2. Um, so five incremental releases over the time that normally in the past would have been just one major release. 
Um, we will do a major release in the future, and um, we'll talk about that. But this incremental approach gets new capabilities to you faster than we had been able to in the past. One of the areas specifically that we've invested quite heavily over the last couple of years, and I will talk more about later in the presentation, is in mobile technology. Uh, the Notes Traveler solution is our no charge add-on that provides mobile uh, push email calendar and contacts to Nokia devices, uh, Apple I devices, uh, Android and uh, Windows Mobile. And so in 2010, we shipped an update to Traveler that provided uh, a Linux version of the server, um, a automatic mobile installer to keep the client software updated, um, a companion for iPhone and iPad that allows you to send and receive encrypted mail. And also uh, in December, we shipped a, a client for Notes Traveler for Android. So uh, a fairly busy year in the mobile space. In the Android space specifically, um, we spent much time trying to decide what the best approach would be to providing Notes email on a uh, Android device. Uh, one approach would have been to do as we had done with Apple and just support the protocol and assume that the device itself would take care of the email and calendar functionality. But what we learned in Android is that every distributor is doing something just a little different with the Android platform. So we made a decision to build our own client uh, natively on the Android platform, and we will continue to invest in that client now that we have built and delivered it. So um, lots of things that we can do innovatively in the mobile space, and we will continue uh, to do so. Um, these are just some quick other things that we did in 2010. I won't cover them all. Um, we have made some changes to the licensing of Domino Express, which is probably a typical licensing model uh, here in Turkey and in um, this part of the world. Uh, Express is available to companies that have 1,000 or fewer employees, and it's on a per-user pricing basis as opposed to a client and server pricing basis. Until the end of 2010, Express had restrictions on it that made it different than the enterprise versions of Notes and Domino. And at the end of the year, we've removed all of those restrictions. Uh, well, some of them removed at the end of the year, and some of them are being removed in the next couple of weeks. So that the only difference between the Express version of Domino and the enterprise version of Domino is the licensing model and the pricing model for companies of under 1,000 employees. So all the other restrictions by the end of next week will be uh, lifted from the product. Um, and that was based on feedback from customers and partners uh, as the product has evolved. Um, another 2010 accomplishment, 2010 accomplishment, is um, the amount of work that we've done with the open source community around Notes and Domino, known as OpenNTF. OpenNTF started almost a decade ago as a site where independent Notes and Domino developers and customers have been providing um, open source versions of applications, code snippets, plugins, examples of solutions that can be built on Notes and Domino. Uh, in 2009, we decided to more actively involve IBM in the workings of OpenNTF, and the result has been very successful. Uh, the number of um, uh, software products or samples that are available on OpenNTF has increased dramatically. Uh, the download frequency is up 20%. And also, um, we now consider OpenNTF to be a um, early release vehicle or unreleased vehicle for software. Things that our lab team is done with, but we are not yet ready to ship formally in the product, we have made available on OpenNTF, such as the new XPages extension library um, late last year. That will eventually, in some part, become part of Domino, but this way we were able to make it available probably a year before it would have formally uh, been introduced in the product. So really um, innovative way to deliver software and very common in the open source world. Not so common for us at IBM, but uh, a way that we're learning to adapt very quickly to the market. Okay. Uh, Lotus Live Notes is uh, a new offering that we del delivered in 2010. Um, it is the first delivery of cloud services from IBM for enterprise messaging collaboration. 
we took the same domino technology that has been available in the market for more than 20 years, and we were able to architect that, that solution to make it run in a fixed price, software as a service, multi-tenant architecture. I think this is testimonial to the flexibility of the product and the original vision of our architects more than 25 years ago as they started working on the product that it could be this flexible as to deliver as a software as a service. So in this space, we now compete with Microsoft and Google on, in terms of online collaboration, and I will do a demonstration of this a bit later. Lotus Lab Notes is a Domino server. It is the same NSF-based architecture as you're used to today. Some of the things that are typical in the cloud world are typical in Lotus Live Notes as well. 25 gigabyte mailboxes, 99.9% .9 availability, um, uh, uh, you know, anti-spam and antivirus. All of these are typical capabilities for cloud email. We also provide a, um, the native notes client, so we provide that at no additional charge. And we provide integrated instant messaging at no additional charge. So we're very competitive in the market for cloud email and collaboration. And we're also using this as an example of how we can deliver software very, very quickly. We first went to beta release of Lotus Live Notes in April of 2010. In June, we brought on board our very first customer, General Motors. By August, we had shipped officially. And then in November, we updated a second release. Just three weeks ago, we updated a third release, and I'll talk about that a little later in the presentation. But it's an example of how we are able to move very quickly uh, in a rapidly evolving market. Now, the pricing and packaging for Lotus Live Notes is typical um, and competitive in the cloud space. Uh, in US dollars, the price of a mailbox for Lotus Live Notes, five US dollars a user a month. Uh, if you want to add the rest of our Lotus Live services, it's only another five US dollars a user a month for a total of 10. To get all of the services, e-meetings, profiling, file sharing, activity tracking, um, surveys, uh, forms-based processing, all of the capabilities of Lotus Live are available in this combined Lotus Live Notes and Engage bundle for 10 US dollars a user a month. Uh, on the right side of this slide, you see quickly um, a number of the places where we integrate or provided linked value across all of the Lotus Live capabilities and places where they integrate with Lotus Notes. What we see typically in the cloud in most of the discussions we're having today with existing customers is what we call a hybrid approach. And in the hybrid approach, you can run part of your Notes Domino infrastructure in your own IT organization and part of it in the Lotus Live cloud. And we've architected for this specifically. Again, a unique advantage of the formal uh, architecture of the Notes Domino environment. Uh, so this is very common to have some users on premises, some users in the cloud. Uh, in a competitive situation where we're talking to a company moving from another product, um, there's no need for the hybrid. But um, both of those are optional deployment approaches, pure cloud, hybrid on-premises, appliance. We, we kind of do it all in the Notes Domino space. Okay, I'm going to talk about some of the other products in my portfolio um, where we had accomplishments in 2010. I mentioned Lotus Symphony earlier. Symphony version 3 uh, shipped in November of 2010 and is the first major update we've done to the product since it released in 2008. Uh, you did not miss a version two. We actually skipped it to go to version three directly uh, and come into line with the openoffice.org community that we're part of. There are significant improvements in Symphony 3. Obviously, I'm using it here uh, for this presentation. Uh, Symphony 3 provides Visual Basic for Applications macro support. It updated file format compatibility with Office 2007. Um, some significant enhancements to the usability and capabilities such as uh, envelopes and business cards. Uh, and uh, generally a, a release that has moved us much for further forward in terms of desktop productivity. We've also provided new tools to help your organization adopt Symphony. Uh, we've done a fix pack. We've done things that allow you to overlay the new version of Symfony on existing deployments of the Notes client. Um, and we have training tools available for the first time, including our multimedia library. 